Buongiorno! Guten Tag! Wait, what? Wait, what are you, we're doing Oktoberfest today. Ooh, I was wondering why we were having brats, but we were supposed to do. <laughs> so welcome to Sundays with Heart. Uh, Brian and Leanne here. We're drinking a Belgian beer. Yeah, you're all screwed up. I know. The, uh, it's one of those weeks. So <laughs> we're, <laughs> this is Sundays with Heart. We do typically do food, wine, beer tasting, Cheers. And uh, otherwise, normal train wreck stuff. Yeah. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to our channel. Oh, we hey, will try, right. We will try not to bruise you too much along the way. Welcome, train wreckers. <laughs> so today, we are doing Oktoberfest Woo! in New Mexico. But then Oktoberfest ended already. Yeah, it already ended. I know. We're... But everything in 2020 is screwed up to begin with. So if you can't do Oktoberfest in Germany, let's bring Oktoberfest to us. Yes. So uh, we're going to make some brats. We've got Johnsonville. We, the Louisville brats. Slugger brats. Yep, Johnsonville. And we have Severn. This is the it's shit really right here. Oh. And oh, then Lord. I made uh, curry ketchup. Yes, and that. Using my yes. friend, my good friend, Elise Nordham's Chili Del Sol. Oh, yeah, Elise, you're like going awfully fast on no, I'm just talking. Chili del Sol uh, hot curry powder. And then to make it a little new She's Mexico. She's an 80s girl, so you know. <laughs> no. I'm just joking, everybody. To make it a little New Mexico, I've got some diced green chilies. And I have a local red chili sauce, Garcia Kitchen's red chili. Not with German food. We're going to try it. I'm not. Because we're going to try to make it a little New Mexican. And to make it more New Mexican, we have... I could go to Nachos for New Mexican. Well, that's not even New Mexican. Santa Fe to... Brewing Oktoberfest Woo! Beer. beer. And we're going to taste test that. And, and we have yummy review. beer signs outside in and the cold. And then, of course, we've got... This is all we could get was like these kind of Kaiser roll kind of things. From Smith's. From Smith's with... You can't get brats here. I mean, um, broaching here. So, uh, anyways, that's what we're going to be taste testing and pairing today. Uh, we're going to do, like I said, a little bit of a, a Oktoberfest New Mexico style tasting yes. today. And so, we'll be back in just a second. And we're going to go sit outside. And no skits today. No skits. Because it's just... Hans is very tired. Or I could pull out my, my, good, that... my good accent. What's good? The time bit. Aww. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Currywurst, currywurst, un palm fritz mit. You want to brought in mayonnaise? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, you're making it so I can't do my accent. I had it good earlier. I can't do it now. You have to stay in character. I know, but I That's can't. I, when a you're good doing performance artist. Because when you're doing it, I can't. I can't do it. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll be back in just We'll a be minute. back. We're going to be outside in the cold, blustery, windy Hence day and like eating German food. And well, we're going to try. We're going to we're gonna try the Santa Fe Oktoberfest. Yes. I, I do. Know, I'm not going to take this know, outside, but I do like the plastic ring thing. We've things. been to real Oktoberfest in Germany. so I have. You have not. You have not. We went to the one in Naples. Oh. It's all Germans. It's so the same shit. Let me finish talking about yes. the beer caps because I like that they don't use the typical rings for um, their rain caps because that way, it, if it does end up in the ocean, it doesn't hurt the animals. So cheers to that. Cheers. So we'll be back in just a second. And a little bit drunker. And a little bit drunker. Back in a sec. Ciao. Ciao. I'll be the same. I'll be the same. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. We're back. Um, I made the brats for mine. Um, I did mine like a little New Mexico twist. So I have uh, the Garcia's Kitchen red chili on this side, and then I put the sauerkraut all over the top, and then I put the green chili uh, that I had on that side, which when you do red and green chili both in New Mexico, it's called Christmas. So I did separate it so I could taste which one went better right. the red chili or the green chili. But so that like, green chili will go good. I don't know. I think the green chili will go better than the red chili, but I'm gonna try it. And out. I'm I'm the traditional one, although oh I I do like my 
sauerkraut in and everything just put together, hand it to me as a sandwich, that's fine. But I do, if I have a choice, I will put it on the side and then put a little on top because I kind of like, I like And I do both. like it on the side and, and, too. Yeah, I'm the, the, I'm the very the missionary food. one, actually. <laughs> and then we're it drinking, seems like I'm not, but I am. Then we're drinking Santa Fe Brewing Oktoberfest. It's a Mertzen yes. beer. Yes, don't shake it too much. I'm not shaking it. It's a Mertzen beer. The color is ruby. The body is a medium. It pairs with grilled or roasted meat, sausages, and nutty grilled cheese. Grilled or roasted meat? Grilled or Gril grilled roasted. Grilled or grilled roasted. Grilled or roasted meat. Are we, are we in sausages, Norway now? And huh? nutty cheese is like manchego or mild gouda. So we'll go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and pour while she's... Ah! And then it says it's not necessary to drink our Oktoberfest out of a mug that's larger than your head while wearing lederhosen, but you will find this lager's unbridled festivity difficult so, to resist. So it definitely has that nice root. Yeah, that it does... Color. Well, it's more like an amber. Yeah, but, it's yeah. more like an amber. Uh, this not quite authentic Mertzen style beer delivers the crisp maltiness of Munich malts with the delicious notes of Bavarian hops. Giving it a clean finish and a perfect flavor for the end of summer. <coughs> so how does it taste? I have not tasted it yet. But the sauerkraut is amazing. So it's definitely not a typical Merton. It doesn't taste like, um, what was that one we used to go to in Hawaii? Um, Gordon, Gordon Beersh. Beersh. Yeah, it, it's not as um, bright as a Merton. Ooh, boy, that's really weedy. Is it? It really, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hops. So I am going to enjoy my beer out of an Oktoberfest mug that we got when we were stationed in Naples, Italy with NATO. The German uh, cohort there had an Oktoberfest every year. And so we have some mugs. So I am going to drink my beer out of a I beer mug. I am going to drink my beer <laughs> out of a true stein from the old days. And this is from when we were in Garmisch. Right. You know, I think I actually wasn't going to. It's really more was just kind of for fun. But I think I will drink it out of this. I, I feel like as if it deserves. I like, like drinking it, it out should. of the it's ceramic. Still some water in there. I like drinking it out of the ceramic because it, it, the, we left them outside so they'd stay nice and cool. And the coldness of the beer... Uh, permeates the uh, ceramic and so the mug feels cold and I think it's going to keep the beer cold longer. That's what that's good for. Just holds that. Yes, look at that. <laughs> We've got like all the major family crests on it. The Deutschland. Yes. So those are the, the states. Zarland, the states, Hessen. my bad. But well, it's the major families because each city state was run by a family. Well, we're not going to go into German history because I didn't write any of that down, but I did do some Oktoberfest <sighs> history. But I'm going to try my brat while it's still warm. Oh, we're going to drink all of this tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is. Yes. So. I actually probably should have put more red chili on it. So what do you think of the beer? It's really good. I like it. It's very... It's very, um... It's, um... It's, it's a real German beer. Um... No, it's close. It's pretty close. Well, mm. it's New Mexico. Well, that's true. And it's America. <coughs> <laughs> So it's no, as close it's not as it gets. Bad. It, it's not bad. And I really don't think the Santa Fe Brewing people are from Germany. So it says, um, finally it has arrived, a beer with crisp maltiness and delicious notes of Bavarian hops. A oh, beer good. that strikes fear in soft pretzels, bratwurst, and red chili all over the world. A beer that, for some reason, mm. is named after a holiday that actually starts in September. This is Santa Fe Oktoberfest, a not exactly authentic German Meriton style lager brewed by authentic New Mexicans. Prost, amigos. So definitely Prost, which is a typical cheers um, in Germany. And of course you get me right in the middle. Prost. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. I think I needed to put more red chili. So we're being a little more barbarian this time because, I mean, you know, this is Germany. This is 
the old land, the, the old country. Um, so, and I think like, I like Italian food, German food is kind of really just rough and coarse and I mean, it can be elegant. I'm not saying that we haven't had some fine restaurants, but there's some great restaurants in Germany. But some of the best restaurants are really just a mom and pop places. Yes. So I definitely should have put more red chili on it because I can barely taste the chili. So some of you but might I do be wondering. Taste the heat of might, the red chili, but barely. Might be wondering about this lid thing. So this is actually a real German Stein and a real kind of a design um, all the way back from probably the 15th, 16th century even, I'm sure, as soon as they started kind of. And so the... the probably older than that. Probably older than that. But this, this is keeps actually... Out. Yeah, it keeps it, yeah. So like you, so when you showed up to a tavern, oftentimes you brought your own Stein. And a lot of times it was metal. Like everything is metal, um, pewter was the typical and um, a typical medical metal. Pewter was the typical metal used because it was easy to melt, easy to cast, easy to finish. It was like like they don't require a lot of work, like actual like like bronze. It's softer than bronze, um, but yet way much harder than any other like silver or any other, which of course you couldn't afford anyway. So, but pewter is very ex inexpensive. Um, and then <clears throat> some of the ceramics didn't even have this little fancy hinge thing. It literally just like, like just, a lid. just a lid that you put on. Now and I've seen those like wood ones that I've seen. Yes, those yeah, yeah, the other wood ones. Which you could actually probably, use as a coaster. Yeah, you could flip it so and like, use it as a coaster. Back in the 16th century, the more money you had, the fancier the mug you had. Um, and these might be left, if it's got your family crest, you could probably leave them at the one tavern that you always go to, and nobody touches it. And this is to keep, exactly, is to keep stuff out of it. Excuse me. Um, people, like, it's, it's just keeping it closed, keeps from people from poisoning you. This, uh, uh, another... That's the biggest reason. Now. We're knocking the camera, or the wind is knocking the camera. Oh. Ah, like, ah, the wind. Um, and... And then the next step up, and I have, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere, it's somewhere in the, in the thing. Um, the next step up is the, mostly the pewter ones, because it's really hard to embed, it's, well, it's really all the pewter ones. They would have glass at the bottom. That's newer, though. It's newer, more in the 17th century. And that was because when you were drinking. Oh, you could. Somebody could see how, if you need more? No, nope, you could see. Ah, <laughs> oh, see your enemies. Ah, your enemies. Oh. Which was like kind of a thing that sailors and pirates and stuff were, were it, so not so much Germany were getting off, but as far as like history of steins and drinking, that's something where like really got into the nautical world and probably the mercenary world, I'm sure. If I was a mercenary back in the time, I, my stein would be a pewter stein with glass at the bottom. But you can kind of, as once you've drank a fair amount, you can see through that bottom. I can, like if I, if this had glass, I could see through the bottom of it. So anyway, brief so history. So I want to talk this about really the red chili. Because actually I got more of the red chili. And so it's really starting to come out and there's just that spice. And um, it actually goes really good with the broth and the sauerkraut. It actually goes really good. So I'm looking We're forward. Need more. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting to the green chili. Um this is uh the red chili that I have is a hot chili and unfortunately the green chili I have is a mild chili but um I just I love that's one of the things I love about New Mexico is the chili. You yeah. know, it's for those of you that don't know what chili is and the New Mexicans are probably going to just Sour yell salsa. at me. So to me, to, to, to put it in like layman's terms, and, and there's like chili stews and stuff too. Oh, Some chilies good. have meat in them and really things good. like that. But if you just want like the pepper, because it's a pepper, right? The chili is a pepper. 
And for the green, you typically roast it and then you chop it up and then just put it on the side. I prefer it that way versus a chili sauce. And then the red, they kind of pulverize it into a powder and make a chili out of it that way, sometimes with stock. Um, so that's kind of like the layman's terms of what chili is. It's kind of right like back, a salsa, but not really. And, um, but it's a sauce. It's, it's, a, it's a condiment. It's a topping. And, oh, it goes on, it goes on pizza. It goes on eggs. It goes on everything. And just, yeah, chili goes on everything. So hot peppers go on everything. So I'm looking forward to getting to the green chili part. I'm sorry, everybody. You know, this week, I think we did another video where we're just, it's just, we're all over the place. We're, it's just, I don't know, it's one of those things, but I wanted to bring, I want, well, I want to refill. But I wanted to bring out, so this is, uh, that we had, as we had mentioned, the Severn Artisanal Kraut, and this is the Craft Beer Sour Krauten. And this is really good. This is amazing. I actually it's, like it probably more um, caraway seeds in it. It's got some, yeah, it you know, some, it's got some, but it doesn't have as much think, as a traditional. I think fennel would go really good. We could have put some fennel And I think that. they do put fennel in I think sour carbon. Celery seed or. But it's really good. This brand is really good. So, like, and check it out if, is, you, if you haven't. If you've never had sauerkraut before, it's very healthy. It has natural probiotics in it. And so it's really good for you. It's very healthy. And... Yes. So. Give me the rest. We kind of oh. have to frolic drink too much. Because okay. then she goes. The then table. she goes all around to the sailors. So Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. It was in celebration of King Ludwig, well, Prince. Crown Prince Ludwig. Oh, he did become king. Later. Yep. And when he married Princess Teresa of Saxe. To Ludwig. Hilberghausen. Hilberghausen. On 12 October 1810. And the citizens of Munich were invited to attend the festivities held on the fields in front really? of the city gates to celebrate the royal event. The fields were called Theresa Weiss. Visa? Visa. Ah, Theresa and Visa, Theresa's Meadow, in honor of the Crown Princess. And have kept that name ever since. Although locals have since abbreviated the, the name simply to Visa, and which is horse races. Oh, sorry. And then horse races in the tradition of the 15th century scarlet race at Calstor were held on 18 October to honor their newlyweds. So it's basically, it got its roots. Uh, well, everybody knows Oktoberfest is a big party. And it is. I've been there. Oh my gosh. It is a big party. But anyway, so take it, me. it um it got a start as the celebration of King Ludwig Prince Ludwig's marriage to Teresa. And then so during a typical event, uh the large quantities of Oktoberfest beer are consumed during the sixteen day <laughs> festival in yeah. twenty thirteen, for example. 7.7 .7 million liters were served. Mm. And there's rides, and everything is big there. So, like, when you go there, the beer tents are huge, the rides are huge, and it's like, you walk along the streets, and, like, I want chicken, right? So, you can buy a whole rotisserie chicken. Where do you go to buy a whole rotisserie chicken at a fair? Not anywhere in the States. When they have these, um, I didn't know. And they, you just put your fist and they just kind of, and you just no. eat No. God, you're such a pig. Well, that's what they did in the Middle Ages. No, they did not. They didn't put it on their fist. Shut up. Maybe if you had a dagger, you, they just. That they was just probably walk, more rah. accurate. So anyways, <laughs> um. So they would have like these like giant pretzels that are like this big. Yeah. And then they'd have these skewers of like strawberries with like I called it like a candy. It was candied strawberries and it was on this large skewer. There's probably like eight strawberries and it had this candy material on it. 
and just oh my gosh everything is big the beer steins are are this big you know which is a liter and actually and this is a half a liter so they're twice this size yeah this is yeah and then the uh the beer fraus who who take your beer order how much there was so, this one Double, double the size of this. Oh, this is two thousand. This is the last, the last one we went to for Naples. Double so you have the, to talk about it. Double the size of this beer stein, and they're carrying like six in each hand. Yeah, like, yeah. And just, so there's yeah. like twelve liters of beer. Let me it's tell just you, outrageous. I know when we're at Garmish. Let me tell you something. Okay, I'm gonna digress and kind of, if I'm gonna knock America here. Do right, and I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, so she won't. She she won't. She didn't want to take me to a real. She went on her own because she's just got. So she goes to her own Oktoberfest. She just sent me to the NATO one, and then well, and then when we got there, I went to she, we walked in the I gate and she was like, "Okay, you're on your own. Bye." And then she just left. But anyways, what? no service. The Germans know how to serve, and like. So we went to, when we went to Garmisch, we went to this, I don't remember the name of the restaurant, you know, to pull German restaurant. Um, I don't know, like a sausage house, right? Or whatever. No, like Snitchel. And... Snitchel. And... But anyways, one, one, one. I'm sorry, American waitresses and waiters. Oh my gosh, stop. One <laughs> waitress for sorry, like that's the modern term. 80 tables. Yeah, more like 50. But... Probably more than like 80. You, you didn't wait, like, very long for anything. Oh, I'll have another beer. America. Crickets. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Germany, you're like, oh, oh, last sip. And you're like, they're like, boom, bam. Here's your beer, sir. You're like, oh, I'll, I think I'll order now. I'll have, like, whatever. And then America. Read it, read it. And then when you get it, it's like, um... Could you take this back? It's cold. Germany, you're like, oh, I'd like to order this. And then you're like, so the end. Boom, dinner. And well, it's like, like ah, my mouth is burning. I'm just saying, take a hit, America. But anyway, the, anyways, service, is really good the service is phenomenal. Amazing. Anyways, back to your story. I forgot what we were talking about. But I think you wanted October to talk Fest. about... What did I want to talk about? The Oktoberfest in Naples. So yeah, so you could talk about the mugs while I eat. I was stationed, I was stationed in Na with NATO in Naples, Italy. And um, the German uh, cohort contingent, whatever you want to call it, element is what they called it. Uh, they had Oktoberfest every year. Which was amazing. So they had the Oompa Bands. And there's a lot of Germans at, at NATO. They had the Oompa Bands and um, the, the Bratwurst and, the, and beer and oh my gosh. They had a beer hall and all this other stuff. It was a lot of fun. So that's where we got these mugs from. And it was a lot of fun. I have one. Not believe like, you. Oh my gosh, you're such a baby. Wow. So, anyways. German so guy's a leader hose in and then she's just dumped, gone. How are we going to rate the bear? I'm going to give this bad boy a fucking 10. Are you? Yeah. Mm. For, well, from my experience with Merton, 10. I would give it an 8. Because it's just not as full bodied as a typical Merton is. So, I would agree with that. It's very light. I'm going to give it a 10. Yeah, you didn't give it a 10. I'm usually the one that grades, grades a I'm, I'm going to give but it a I, 10. I give it an 8. I'm going to give it a 10 because I think it's about as good as it gets for, for here. Unless you actually buy German imported Meritzen, like, you know, which is like, I don't know, 15 bucks. Like so, what did you think about the curry ketchup that I made? Love it. You make the best curry ketchup. Your German side really shines on that. It's definitely. No, and you can get And I don't understand that. I don't, I don't know the history of curry ketchup. I just know That's that when question. I was stationed in I Germany. Know. I don't have my phone. So you would have a, bra, no. uh, a curry versed, 
I would, I, you go to the Chanel the Imbus, minutes. which is kind of oh, like, yeah, we have time. They call it a Chanel Imbus, which is kind of like a food truck. And, um, you would order a, um, I would order a currywurst, wait, currywurst und pomme frites mayonnaise. So it was a currywurst and it was more <coughs> of a white sausage. So it was like the vegetarian <coughs> pork. It was kind of white. I didn't like that sausage unless it had the curry ketchup on it. And so they would serve it on a little um, kind of paper plate, plastic plate kind of thing. And they would have it cut. And they would have um, uh, they would have it cut. Most, most times they had it cut. And then they had the whole brat, uh, sorry, brat word, uh, brooch in, sorry. The whole brooch in. And you could you could slice it and then put your your um, bratwurst on it and make a sandwich if you wanted to. But typically people had it just the bro brooch in with with the currywurst. And then I always added fries with it. And so um, get the palm frites with may mayonnaise. Trust me, it's really good. Yeah, you know, and like mayo on fries was not really my. Good. It was like oh my ew. Gosh. And then like now it's like. Not oh, it's so oh boy, much better the minute than we have out. like it's Jaeger so sauce on a steak and fries, it's so much better. All of a sudden them. now, and then like like, sorry, we're gonna make you seasick with this. <laughs> so that's the bad side. So at some point we're gonna review like film products, and that's so that's the bad side of this. It bounces. The other one doesn't bounce. The one that accident had an accident. Yeah, but that one would tip, probably would have tipped over. We had, we had a tripod one that had an accident. It ran into Brian Dennis Hartford on a bad day. So anyways. But that lightweight tripod may we'll, have tipped over with the wind. The that's wind true. Yeah, it is pretty windy. So anyways, so I don't, so yeah, I, I don't know. We're all over the... So here's the thing. So, so anyways, 10, I'm giving it a 10. She's giving it an 8. What are we saying for this? Uh, an 8. Okay, I, I agree with that. It's not my Solid favorite... Eight. Sour Definitely house. needs like maybe some pepper on it and stuff, which I did. We put pepper. Um, um, then of course the bratwurst, the green chili. I actually, is good. Yeah. I think I like the red chili better than the green um, for mm. for this thing. Uh, well, plus I had mild green, so maybe if I had spicy green chili, it would have been better. But I think for this exercise, uh, the red chili was better than the green. And that's what I do when I go to a, a new restaurant. I usually get Christmas because that way I can try both of their chilies. I get a 10 for Stein style. <laughs> Stein style. <laughs> yes. So, anyways. <gasps> Look. Now they are unrolling their hoses. Oh my God. All over the yard. So, we want to thank you guys for they... watching our, our channel. <laughs> Hit the subscribe yes. button if you want more train wreck. And yes. then, um, we're going to go have some more beer. And, and we're going to watch Vincent movies. Price movies, which, God, I love it's a Price, uh, Pit in the Pendulum, what was that? Um, um, the House, um, House on Haunted Hill. House on Haunted Hill and stuff. And, oh, you got to, especially, you know, the black and whites, his, it, they're they're all great, but the color ones like when they had Technicolor and it, oh, oh and, the, and then like the girls the, the little the Spanish they always had these Spanish they would have been princesses but now like the family's in poverty and all this and they live in a haunted house and they're always dressed up and they got those big brown eyes and it's like yeah he's he they're always yeah yeah I love God I love those shows so anyways yeah glad you guys could watch our. New Mexico version of Oktoberfest. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Yes, time to eat. Like, it is really, time to like, like, really just chow down. Because we haven't eaten all day. We didn't even. We had donut holes. So not the whole donut. Just the holes. And so we're pretty hungry. Um, so yeah. I don't know. What do we say? Prost? Prost. Remember to love. L lust. And laugh. <laughs> Take care of one another. Love each other. I'd be the same. I love you too, baby. Bye. Bye. <laughs>